Hey, it's John Matoshnik. The question is, I bought a lawn care business. I already own a painting business. How can I use one business to help get more clients? I mean, this is, this is an awesome scenario, actually. So this is, um, this is where you want to get to in business. So I kind of preach this concept of simple in the beginning. Stay focused, stay simple, keep everything, you know, tightly focused, only do so many things. Then as your business grows, add services. So I'm going to talk about a concept that kind of goes against that logic. And so I want to be very clear here that when you're small, you've got to be focused if you want to make money and if you want to scale your business. So based on what I'm about to say, don't violate that. But as you get bigger, what's really cool is you can start rolling in more services. So you got a client base of 1,000 clients or 500 clients, whatever the number is, but you're big enough where you can hire people to come in and help you and they can kind of run with the other services and you can start adding new services. You've immediately got a base to sell back into. So there's, and this is what's neat about having a painting business and a lawn care business. They're congruent. My assumption is that if you're painting residential properties, they've got lawns. If you're painting commercial properties, they've got lawns trees, shrubs, all those things. So this is a wonderful scenario to be in because now you can sell to your entire client base. And the other thing is that when you roll more services in, so let's say you started out just performing one service and then you add another service, you can sell that back to all your clients. The cheapest and easiest way to grow your revenue is to sell more to your existing clients. They already trust you. They already like you. They'll buy more. The other really cool thing that happens here is if you're into marketing and you're really into that and growing your business, if you're competing against another company that only offers one service, so let's just use a lawn care example and you're competing against a lawn mowing company and that lawn mowing company just does mowing and bush trimming and they may, and we're just going to make up some numbers, but they, that client on average on a residential basis is worth $1,000 a year to them and some amount of that, say 150 bucks is profit. And now, and that's that business, and there's lots of them. And maybe they have a few extra services, but on average, their clients work $1,000 a year, $150 a year in profit. And then you've got a business, and you do lawn mowing, and all the numbers are about the same, but then you do fertilization and weed control, then you do pest control, and then you do aeration, and you do all the irrigation. You slowly add these services over the years as you build out your business. And now, the client that originally would have only been worth 1000 to you and 150 a year in profit is now worth 4,000 a year to you, and let's say $800 a year in profit. And this is a very real scenario. Not all of your client base is gonna buy all your services, but you're gonna have a nice number that are gonna buy multiple services. So going into the scenario, going into a marketing scenario, you can afford to spend far more money to get a client. So the mowing guy, that only mowed and only generate $150 a year in profit, he may feel he can only spend $100 a year on marketing to get a new client. So he sticks with one and two step marketing campaigns. He sends a postcard and he sends another postcard. He does a door hanger. He does some website stuff. He sticks with the basic stuff that gets him a client for around $100 bucks per sale. But the guy that understands his numbers in his business and he looks at it and he says, you know what? Every time I sell a client, they're worth three or four thousand to me, and that means they're worth six hundred or eight hundred dollars a year in profit to me. He quickly, if he's savvy, realizes, you know what? I can spend way more than a hundred bucks because I'm going to make eight hundred dollars off this client a year, and this client, this type of client, on average, stays with me five years, so they're going to contribute four thousand dollars in my pocket over the life of being a customer, and they're going to contribute whatever twelve thousand dollars a year in gross revenue to my business to cover overhead and such. So they, they realize this and they say, you know what, I could spend $250 to get a client. I could spend $300 and be worth it because I'd still make $500 in profit the first year and every subsequent year thereafter, I'd still make at least $800 in profit and I could sell them more. And so they can outspend the guy that can only spend $100 because he's pretty much spending all his profit for the year just to acquire the client. So my point is, if you look at your business from this scenario, you're in an enviable position because now when you're spending marketing dollars, you may bring them in as a mowing client and now you can sell them painting. You can upsell market to them periodically through a monthly newsletter, through a postcard, through email, whatever. 
and you can event, you can stay in front of them till the day they need to hire you for painting. Or they hire you for painting, and while you're out there, you give them a free lawn analysis and say, oh, by the way, we have an entire division that we do mowing and fertilization, weed control, or whatever the services you are. While we're here, may we, we, we went ahead and put together a comprehensive lawn analysis for you. And we looked at all kinds of things from your gutter to your sprinkler gutters to your sprinkler system to the health of your turf to your trees and shrubs. And we noticed you had this insect problem here and you've got a little brown spot over here. You've got these little issues going on. We wrote it all up for you. And here's our guarantee. Here's what it's going to cost. And what do you think of the paint job? You love it? Well, the experience is going to be exactly the same if you hire us as your lawn care company. And you're there. You can sell them. Worst case, they don't buy, but now you've got them as a painting client and you can market to them over and over and stay in front of them till the day that they're dissatisfied with their current lawn care company and you're the only company that comes to mind. Hey, those guys did us well when they painted our house. It was great. We loved them. Probably going to be just as good at lawn mowing. So that's the trick. It's the cross-marketing, cross-selling and the ability to spend more to get a client. So it's the ability to go in and get a client for painting and not even talk about lawn care yet. Prove to them how great you are. Give them the free lawn analysis and then talk to them about lawn care. And then do the same thing over for your lawn care clients and get them into your painting business. And educate them that you offer, cross-educate both sides of your business that you offer the services. Maybe Miss Smith who hired you for lawn care, who loves you, doesn't need her house painted, but her friend at the church she needs a, her house painted and who comes to mind you and she refers them part of having a good referral program so your options are endless here but this is a great position to be in so the takeaway here is that you can spend more money now to get a client if you're into marketing second the takeaway is you've got to be upsell marketing to all your clients you do a paint job you know what can you do to sell them lawn care vice versa then going over through time what can you do to stay in front of your lawn care clients so that you're in front of them when it's time to paint their house? How can you educate them about painting the house and the resell value of it and the emotional feeling that they experience when they come home and their place looks really good? I mean, how can you teach them that stuff so that you're taking your painting business and if a typical cons buyer paints their home every five or seven years, through education and teaching, you're you're getting that number to every four years. Or at least you're coming out and doing some touch-ups every year and a half. What can you sell them? And as you're selling them that, you're also educating them then about lawn care and some of these other things so that you can sell them more in those areas. So the cross-selling options are just awesome here. So I hope that covers what you were looking for. You're in a great spot. If you're not marketing, you've got to. You can, you can afford to spend some money here and then market to all your lawn clients painting and all your painting clients lawn care and be creative about it and teach them and educate them and uh, this will be good for you. This will, this will go really well. So good luck to you.